Simon Says Stamp. Today I'm going to share this fun card design that is featuring a really fun way to be able to use wrapping paper and reuse it on cards. Wrapping paper you probably have an overabundance of right now I'm sure from opening up Christmas presents and I think it's really great to be able to reuse things like wrapping paper on cards because not only does it keep down on waste but it also allows you to really stretch those beautiful prints and patterns that are on all of our wrapping papers for Christmas. I love looking at Christmas wrapping paper. I think it's just so gorgeous. So what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you how I took these scraps of wrapping paper that I had left over from wrapping up some Christmas presents and I'm going to create this fun card design that you see here on the left. I'm going to be using this folded heart die from Simon Says Stamp. This was part of the Hey Love release and I'm going to use it to create this window here that you see on the card. Now the window is letting the wrapping paper, that snowman wrapping paper, peek through. So it creates a really fun and pretty card. And the other thing I'll be showing you too later on in this video is how I used this wrapping paper to create a matching envelope. So to get started on my card, I'm first taking the folded heart die. I'm going to line this up in the center of the square piece of white cardstock. I've got it at a little bit of an angle because I don't want it to be straight on. I'm going to show you first, before we get any further, how this die works. You fold over the largest heart and then you fold over the smaller heart and that ends up creating these two hearts interlocked into each other. I think that's really really fun and a unique die. I think this is a really great die. It's one of my new favorites right now. I'm also going to add a little bit of detail onto this little square by die cutting a scalloped edge along all four sides. I also die cut a second panel using some cotton candy cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. And I did the exact same thing, however I did adjust the direction of the heart a little bit so that way when I go to layer these together that there will be pink cardstock peeking out along the edges as well as having the cardstock interlocked with the other heart. Today you can see that pink die cut that I have on the left there with my white die cut. I'll show you in a minute how I'm going to go ahead and interlock those together. First I need to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. Now Christmas paper can be used year round if you get creative with it. I'm going to be using the snowman paper to create a thank you card. These are perfect for using right after Christmas because you've gotten lots of gifts I'm sure and you want to be able to thank the people that gave you such thoughtful gifts. So I'm going to go ahead and create thank you cards with these wrapping papers. And I think if you selectively choose the wrapping papers that you use for these kinds of cards you can not only save them for cards to use as next year or you could use them to create thank you cards or thinking of you cards. Just look at the patterns and see which ones will work for non Christmassy things. And I think you'd be surprised at how much use you can get out of this wrapping paper. Now I trimmed that wrapping paper down into a smaller square so that way it would layer up behind our white square perfectly. I'm adhering it down onto a piece of white cardstock just because wrapping paper is of course very thin and I want something a little bit more sturdy. So I'm just using the white cardstock as a backing to help me hold that together. Here's where I'm interlocking the hearts. I'm going to layer these up together and because we die cut these hearts at an angle, both slightly different, as we interlock them together there's pink paper peeking out around the edges of the white and that's creating a really fun layered effect. I'm also interlocking the hearts so that way I create a two-toned effect when I folded these hearts over. Then because we have the white die cut on top of the pink one now, I'm adding foam tape to the back of the pink die cut and I'm going to layer this on top of our snowman cardstock. This creates a little bit of dimension and helps the window have a little bit more depth. You don't have to use the foam tape but I like having it there because it does add a little bit extra interest to the card. So now that I've got the cards put together I've got another one here that you can see and I'm adding embellishments to the wrapping paper just to dress it up a little bit more. I'm using the Nouveau Jewel Drops, this is the orange color, I'm going to add that to the nose of the snowman and then I'm also going to take some enamel accents in the black color and add that to the eyes. These are just very subtle details but they add a lot to your overall card design. So these are little tips that you can take for creating a little bit extra interest to a card and really dress up the wrapping paper. So I also added a little bit of Wink Stella glitter to the pink and white hearts and I also used one of Simon Says Stamp's newest heart stencils and some white pigment ink onto some schoolhouse red cardstock to create a nice background for my card base. So after I finished off the cards, I wanted to create some matching envelopes. Simon Says Stamp released a really fun envelope liner die in their December release. And it's perfect for using with wrapping paper. So I've got some Simon Says Stamp envelopes here. 
The ones that will work for the envelope liner die is the ones that have the straight edge. You don't want the V-flap, you want the straight edge envelopes. This is the envelope liner die, and I'm going to go ahead and use this to die cut the wrapping paper to create a liner for my envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and stick some wrapping paper into my Big Shot along with the envelope liner die, and I'll go ahead and run this through my machine. Now bear in mind that wrapping paper is very thin, so it's going to be very delicate once you've die cut it. So I'm going to be very careful as I go ahead and lift this out. You'll notice that there's a slit in the middle here. That's because when you go ahead and adhere this into your envelope, that's going to line up with the fold of the flap. And it's going to allow the flap to fold nicely because it's got that slit. Now because wrapping paper is so thin, on the first envelope, I went ahead and applied it into my envelope attached. However, I found it easier to go ahead and apply this into the envelope by de detaching the bottom and top pieces and placing those into the envelope without having them adhered together. So you might find this is helpful when you go ahead and adhere these envelope liners using wrapping paper into your assignments and stamp envelopes. So keep that in mind as you're going ahead and doing this. Some wrapping papers are of course a little bit thicker so you might not have this problem, but the thinner wrapping papers you might find it's easier to go ahead and do it this way. So after I adhered the envelope liner inside of the envelopes, you can see here how it slides inside and it has that really cute and interactive element added to the envelope. So when someone opens up the card, they have this really cute paper peeking out at them that matches up with their card perfectly. I also die cut a couple of hearts using some coordinating papers, which are also made using the envelope liner die set. Those hearts are included in that set. So I hope this has given you some inspiration on how to reuse some of those wrapping papers that you have on hand before they end up getting thrown out in the trash. These cards are perfect for using all winter long because they don't necessarily have a Christmas theme to them. This one in particular has more of a snowy, wintry, thank you theme to it, maybe even Valentine theme. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and head on over to the Simonson Stamp blog where you can get more information on these projects, including still pictures and products used. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you again very soon. Bye!